Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. It is cool outside right now. Temperatures are currently in the 30s and the low to mid 40s in most locations. It's still gusty along the Rocky Mountain front right now. Sustained wind speeds are currently between 15 and 30 miles per hour. Elsewhere, we just have a little breeze with sustained wind speeds currently between 5 and 15 miles per hour. On the Opportunity Bank of Montana Weather Camera, we did have beautiful weather during the day today with partly cloudy skies and mainly dry conditions. There was also some patchy fog around this morning. On satellite and radar, it's pretty quiet right now, and that's because high pressure is currently in control of our weather. And basically for the next week, an upper level ridge is going to be in control of our weather, which means we are going to have very nice weather, but a couple disturbances will work their way through Montana this weekend. So it will be a little bit cloudier and a few isolated snow and rain showers are possible. As we go through tonight, it is going to be a pretty quiet night. We're going to have mainly dry conditions and we are going to have mostly clear skies as well. And just like the past few nights, patchy fog may develop along central and eastern portions of the High Line, as well as in some of the valley locations, including in the Helena Valley. Outside of that patchy fog tomorrow morning, you can expect mostly sunny skies throughout the day and it will continue to be mainly dry as well. We are going to have increasing clouds as we head into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening and tomorrow night as a disturbance begins to approach our area. And on Saturday, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. A lot of locations will continue to remain dry, but a few isolated rain and sun showers are possible late Friday night and during the day on Saturday, especially in the high higher elevations as that disturbance does pass through our area. And then another disturbance will produce a couple isolated rain and sun showers on Sunday as well. As we go through tonight, breezy conditions are expected in some areas with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, in the valleys, we'll continue to have a light breeze, but in the higher elevations and in the plains as well as in the canyons, breezy conditions are expected with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. A few wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are also going to be possible at times. And then the wind will pick up even more as we head into this weekend. In the valleys, the wind will continue to remain light, but elsewhere we are going to be dealing with gusty winds this weekend with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts over 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times, especially along the Rocky Mountain front. Tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the 20s and the low to mid 30s in most locations. Tomorrow, high temperatures once again are going to be in the mid to upper 30s and low to mid 40s for most of us, but in Great Falls, we may approach that 50 degree mark once again. And then on Saturday, a few isolated rain and sun showers are possible. Many of us will just be overcast and dry, though, and high temperatures are going to be in the 40s and the lower 50s. In Helena, for the next seven days, for the most part, we are going to have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and well above average temperatures for this time of year. As highs are going to be in the 40s. Heading into the first week in the February, which is an on the seven day forecast, that's when it does look like wetter weather will return to Montana and it will start to get colder as well.